Romans 6, it says that we are no longer slaves to sin, that death no longer has a hold on us, that there is no longer this chain of of weariness and depression and anxiety and all of these things that are rooted in sin, that there is no longer this, this, um, this chain of sin that's holding us down, that we actually have freedom. And I believe as the people of God that, that it's so easy for us to go through motions and come to church and sing the songs and saying, I'm here for you for these 55 minutes, I'm here for you rather than saying, God, I'm here for you. None of my life matters if I'm not doing exactly what you want me to do, if I am walking in the freedom that you've called me to walk in. So I just want us to sing this song in declaring that freedom, that there is no longer the chain of sin on us. That, you know, as we uh, said that verse, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, you know, that we want us to turn from our wicked ways, that it's so easy to think that we're just wanting other people to turn from their wicked ways, thinking that the gospel doesn't apply to us anymore. We're, we're saved. The gospel doesn't apply to us, but the gospel is working in our lives, that God is working out his salvation in us every day, that we are dying to our flesh, dying to our sin, and knowing that the cross has the power to save us every single day, the power to rid sin in our lives and letting that then be an example for everyone that we come in, in, in encountering with. Whew. I just believe that God wants to break chains in us today and getting down to the root that that chain is sin and getting us to his freedom and accessing the power that he's purchased to us through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So let's sing this. Let's sing this in faith. Who are the word of the beginning? One with God, the Lord, most high. You're hidden
Change! 